so I'm changing things up a bit for this video. I'm speaking to you while I do this makeup because I want to step up my YouTube game a little bit and I guess they're not personalised enough when I just do the little Instagram style video. So let's try it. I'm going to try something dragon style. Let's see how it goes. So I haven't filmed all of this for two reasons. One is that I film on my phone and I wanted to have a quick look at a reference picture while I was doing it so it was right and can't do both. Um, also wanted to listen to Spotify while I was doing it and I can't do that because I'm listening on my phone. So hence why you didn't see every part of this process. It's going to be a bit of a, a choppy video but I'll stop and explain what I've done. So yeah I've used a red but I've also mixed it with a little bit of brown as well to start sketching out my dragon. I'm focusing it here. I feel like I need to balance the design out with something here but I'm not quite sure yet. And I'm going to go in now with my base colours. I'm going to go in with quite a big brush and red. I think this is chameleon. I'm just going to start laying down my base. I don't want to lose all of this line work that I've done. I want to still be able to see what I've sketched out. So I'm just adding a really nice light thin layer. Also this is quicker because I'm just slapping it on basically. Now I'm going in with layer number two and I'm going to use this dark brown here which is called Darkness from Chameleon and I'm going to use the same brush because it's nice big quick movements and I'm going to start laying down some shadows. So now I'm going in with Almond from Chameleon, the same brush again, and I'm laying down some of the highlights and the lighter areas. I've got my paint quite watery, I want it to go on, again, a little bit wishy-washy. These lighter colours will blend into those background colours as well, um, because they are a little bit watery too, which is good because I don't want stark highlights yet. There will be a time and a place for that. And now is not that time or place. Now I'm doing the same but with white and this is going to be another layer of highlight because this is going to stand out a lot more than the almond colour that we used. So now I'm going back to my small round brush that I used um, to sketch everything out at the start and I'm going to add in those more refined little bits of white like the eyeballs and the teeth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this colour here which is Espresso from Chameleon. I'm going to mix a little bit of black in with that. So I'm going to go in now with my tiny brush and my white and I'm going to just get that final layer of highlights that's going to make everything really pop and bring everything to life. So as you can see, I've gone in with black eyeshadow um, and it's quite dramatic, it's a dramatic piece and again it's all about balance and thinking about where you're going to place things. I started with the Krylin HD Cream Liner in Ebony as a base and then I've used this Illamasqua eyeshadow called Obsidian which I think is the blackest black in existence. It is it's so dark and it's perfect. So now I'm just making sure that I really blend those edges as much as I can. Um, until I get bored basically. I don't get excited over blending eyeshadows. And yeah, I'm bored, that'll do. Um, I'm gonna go with lips now. It's these two NYX colours in the liquid suede. We have Kitten Heels, which is one of my favourite bright reds. And we've got Cherry Sky. I'm happy with that. Right, I'm gonna amp up my blush a little bit and maybe add a little bit of highlight. just had to let my phone charge up a little bit so you missed this bit all I've done is eyelashes I just put some black mascara on I'm not the biggest fan of fake eyelashes at the best of times 
Um, don't really need it because the Ella Mascara eyeshadow is so black. And then I've also used my red Chameleon body paint. And I've gone in with my favourite and most used brush, which is the Pink Tip Size Zero from the Face Painting Shop. And I've done this fine red line work just to bring it across a little bit more. Um, just kind of like typical Japanese-y kind of shapes. So you've got like those curvy kind of waves, petals, leaves, that kind of shears. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling like this needs a bit of a pop of gold. I don't know about you, I might get my Meron Gold Powder out. If you've never tried the Meron Powder, which is this, um, with the mixing liquid, what planet have you been living on? And once you mix it together, it's like foil. I'm not gonna go too crazy because it's very easy to go too crazy with this product because it is just lush, um, but just some key areas. So you can see if I shimmy um, that how much that reflects the light. If you're ever doing something that needs to be done in a live environment, this is perfect. It just pops and catches the light so much. I am obsessed. Um, think of it well there. I'm just gonna paint my hand. You don't need to see that really. I think I'm just gonna do it black. So, see you in a sec. I think I'm done. Very happy with how this has turned out actually. I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna go. I've also realised I'm speaking quite quietly now. That is because I've realised what time it is because I did not start this till midnight. So let me know if you liked this kind of video. I might do it again. Who knows? Time to get my pose on now. So catch you soon.